Welcome back to our Getting Started series. There's one more way I want to show you about selecting objects. Let's say that I want this flower right here. There's a lot of pieces in it, but I really don't want to select this. I don't want to select this piece. And if I come up and I click and I drag a box around it, notice it's going to select some of the other pieces or the other objects that's completely enclosed in there. And I don't want that. But then I don't want to come in and select the individual pieces too because you can see how many pieces there are to that. So we have one more tool that makes it very easy for you. Click on this arrow that points down. Click on Polygon Select. Go to your keyboard and with a left mouse click, you're going to click around the areas that you want to select. Now notice that I'm clicking through this red one. I'm not enclosing all of it, so it's not going to be selected. So that's quite handy too because a lot of times the objects are very close together. And you can zoom in when they're really close together and even have more detail. You do not have to close it. Just make sure that you've completely got around the section you want. And then you press your Enter key and you have everything selected. Now maybe you want to, um, I'm going to click on the Polygon Select tool. I will then go to my window and I will do a left mouse click around the areas that I want selected. And you see, I do not want those little white pieces. I don't want that one selected and I don't want that one selected, but it's very hard to go up in between those. So as long as I'm going through it and not enclosing that whole object, it will not be selected. It's not necessary for me to close this loop here. Just get close to the original start, press the Enter key, and you will notice that all of those objects that I wanted selected is selected and nothing else is selected. Now, a lot of times when I'm working with this, I may be going to select that flower because I want to use that flower in other parts of my design or I may want to completely remove it. So what I will do a lot of times is once I have multiple objects selected like that and I know I'm going to be doing something else with them such as moving them or duplicating them, I'm going to go up and group that. Notice that I have it selected so the group is available and I will click to have it grouped. Now when I come in and I click on any one of those particular objects, it is going to select that whole group. Now there's one more thing I want to show you about grouping and ungrouping. I'm going to click to select these hearts and then I'm going to group them. Okay. If I click on any part of this section, it's grouped. If I click on any one of the hearts, they are also grouped. Now, maybe I want both of these grouped because I'm going to delete both of them or I'm going to duplicate both of them. I'm going to hold my control key down and I'm going to click on the other section that's grouped and notice it allows me now to group those two together. So I will click on group. Now at this point, I can delete them, move them, resize them, whatever I want to do. And change them all to one color if that's what I desire. Anytime I click on any one of these sections now, it is going to highlight or select all of them because they're grouped together. Ungrouping them. If you remember, I grouped two individual sections and then I grouped two of the grouped sections, right? Okay. So I'm going to select this. Both of them is selected. It allows me to ungroup. I am going to ungroup it. It only ungroups the last section that I grouped together. So these two sections are still grouped. It ungroups in the reverse order that you grouped it as. So if we want those ungrouped, I'll select it. I'll click ungroup. 
Notice now they're individual objects. I click on this one, click on group. These now become individual objects also. So you may have noticed that as I've been working today and I would have an object or objects that were selected and I wanted to deselect them, that I've just clicked anywhere out into my screen that there were no objects selected or there were no objects at all, just in a blank space. So that is the way that you will deselect something most of the time. But there are other ways too. You can go to the Edit menu and you can deselect all. You have the hot key or the shortcut key using the letter X. Or the other way that I will deselect things often is to click on my escape key. If I click my escape key, that's the escape key, ESC key on your keyboard. If I click that, I'll usually click it two times because there are some things in the software that will require two clicks to deactivate them. So I just have a habit of always doing two clicks. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you check out our other videos in the Hatch Getting Started series.